Taiwan. China's race to space is stepping up. An unmanned rocket with a mission to explore the far side of the moon. The aim to scrape the lunar surface and bring back to Earth two kilos of pulverized rock. If China succeeds, it will be a world first. So the far side of the moon that we can't see from the Earth looks very, very different because it has a different history. A lot more craters there, and we even think that there's water and helium hiding in the shadowed craters. But the fact of the matter is that it's a very different geological environment that the spacecraft are sampling. So we can learn something very fundamental about the formation of the moon. Ahead, a 53-day-long journey to the moon, relying on satellites to guide the probe, land it safely, and send it home again. In the middle of a crater on the moon, China is challenging the US. Its ultimate goal is to land its astronauts on the moon by 2030, a feat unseen for decades. The US is also aiming to step foot on the moon again within a couple of years. NASA warns China's mission to the moon is a military one, to claim resources for itself. But China insists it's peaceful. Apollo, we went there a couple of days, came back home, and, and that was the end of it. The idea now, and I think this, this goes for the Chinese as well as, as the Americans and our Western allies, we want to establish long-term scientific bases on the moon and really learn what's there, uh, explore for resources, and, and ultimately uh, make the moon part of the Earth's economy. This lunar launch is also about power, prestige and national pride. A clear sign, China has arrived and space is its new frontier. Nicole Johnston, Sky News, Beijing.